UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. It means to communicate without clock and generally supports full duplex. UART is relatively simple in structure and protocol is not so difficult, so it is widely used in MCU board development. In such low-speed communication, a side effect may be generated by acting as a delay. The configuration of the bits used in UART communication are start bit, data bit, parity bit and stop bit. The start bit indicates the start of character transmission and remains low for one bit time. The data bits are typically 5, 6, 7, and 8 bits and are LSB first in transmission. In some cases, 9 data bits are supported. The parity bit is used to detect errors occurring during transmission. The stop bit is the end of character transmission and remains high for one stop bit or two stop bits. Baud rate determines the speed by dividing the clock and keeps the baud rate below plus or minus 2% between the communicating devices. Oscillator is problematic due to the fluctuation of the frequency depending on the characteristic temperature difference. 2 million BPS and N71, one character is transmitted with 9 bits, one star bit, 7 data bits and one stop bit, and takes 4.5 US 0.5 US by 9 bits. Experience has shown that communication lines should be used as short as possible when performing UART communication at speeds of 500,000 BPS or higher. SPI stands for Serial Peripheral Interface. The functions of the SPI pins are as follows. MOSI, master in, slave out, pin transmits serial data synchronously with SCK when it is master device, and serial data when it is SAP device. The MISO, master in, slave out, pin receives serial data in synchronization with the SCK in case of a master device, and transmits serial data in case of a slave device. The SCK serial clock pin outputs the SPI clock at the speed of the SCK set by the user in case of the master device, and the slave device receives the SCK from the master device. SS slave select pin is used to select the slave device for the master device and only when SS is low for the slave device. Data bits may be fixed to 8 bits or up to 16 bits may be selectively used by the user. The SPI is usually MSB first, but there are cases where the user can select either LSB first or MSB first. In SPI mode, there are 0, 1, 2 or 3 as a combination of polarity and phase. Master device and slave device should use the same SPI mode. Connect the MOSI of the SPI device and the TTL level RX pin of the USB serial converter and connect the ground pins to each other. MISO, SCK and SS are not used and do not connect. The SPI mode is not a problem with any setting because the SCK speed of the SPI device is set to 2 million BPS, the SPI device is set to master mode, and SCK is not used. Computer sets UART to 2 million BPS and N71. Maximize the device FIFO size in UART setting of the computer. 2 million BPS, N71 is an example. 2 million BPS means that 2 million bits of serial data are transmitted per second, which is transmitted by 0.5 microsecond at a time. If set to N71, 9 bits, 1 start bit plus 7 data bits plus 1 stop bit are transmitted per character and it takes 4.5 microsecond, 0.5 microsecond by 9 bits. Previously, in my case, UART serial data was sent to the software bit bang for debug purposes. In this case, it was a problem to disable the interrupt while transmitting one character. However, if you use the SPI supported by the MCU, serial data is sent to the hardware, so you do not need to disable the interrupt. The printable ASCII character uses 7 bits, so use N71, no parity, 7 data bits and 1 stop bit. 
Since UART has LSB first communication, MCU that LSB first does not support should be bit reversed by software as shown in the figure. When the SPI performs MSB first communication, 8 bits are transmitted while the data of the SPI data register is shifted left by 1 bit. In this case, since the printable ASCII character is output, the MSB is always 0, which is the start bit and then the 7-bit ASCII character that is bit reversed is transmitted. Finally, the software delay time until the character is transmitted and the next character is transmitted is the stop bit. If the MCU speed is fast and the software processing time to prepare the next character to be transferred is shorter than 1 bit time, additional delay is needed. For an MCU supported by LSB first, if the character is shifted by 1 bit, the LSB becomes 0 and operates with the start bit. When the SPI performs LSB first communication, the data of the SPI data register shifts right by 1 bit, and 1 start bit and 7 bits data are transmitted. Finally, the software delay time until the character is transmitted and the next character is transmitted is the stop bit. I hope this helps your project.